A disturbing revelation has emerged from within the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as a whistleblower comes forward to expose the plan to use the existing chemtrails operation to unleash the next pandemic. A senior scientist has bravely broken her silence to reveal a covert operation known as Project Skypox, which involves spraying a highly contagious variety of aerosolized monkeypox over unsuspecting civilian populations with a view to causing a new pandemic and rolling out a punishing regime of vaccines and restrictions. Claiming that staff at the Gates Foundation are divided over the morality of this operation, the senior scientist warns that Gates is laser focused on the plan and determined to push ahead with it whether his staff agree with him or not. Before we dive in, join the People's Voice Locals community if you haven't already, and sign up to become a member of the world's first ever cyber nation that truly believes in life, liberty, and the pursuit of your dreams. Visit joson.com and click the join us button today. It's completely free. The globalist elites have done their best to unleash hell on earth in the last four years. But we the people have held strong, maintained our dignity, and exposed their lies one by one. The elites understand their agenda is in grave risk of failing, and they're growing increasingly desperate to find new ways to enslave humanity. Earlier this week, WF Young Global leader Justin Trudeau warned Canadians to expect a new virus worse than COVID that will somehow cut off their access to the food supply, banking services, and gasoline. It feels like a meticulously crafted scheme to lock the prison door on humanity and toss away the key forever. Meanwhile, the WF infiltrated government in the UK is busy cracking down on any form of dissent from the globalist agenda, this week arresting people for crimes such as sharing anti-establishment rhetoric on social media. While in New Zealand, the WF infiltrated government have updated their pandemic plan to grant police the power to detain and restrain members of the public for forced vaccinations among a raft of new authoritarian measures. The elites earmarked 2024 as the year to break humanity's spirit and move at breakneck speed towards the authoritarian future they've been planning for decades. This week, the virus fanatics at the Gates-funded World Health Organization made the next phase of their plan clear, and it involves MPOX, which is the new name for monkeypox. According to WHO chief Dr. Tedros, who receives the vast bulk of his paycheck from Bill Gates, Sovereign nations must come together to coordinate a global response to what he describes as the MPOX international health emergency, following a minor outbreak in isolated parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The detection and rapid spread of a new clade of MPOX in Eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring countries that had not previously reported MPOX, and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. In addition to other outbreaks of other clades of MPOX in other parts of Africa, it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. The Gates Foundation conveniently already has enough MPOX vaccinations ready to vaccinate the bulk of the world. But there's just one problem, according to a brave Gates Foundation scientist who has become the highest placed whistleblower in the history of the organization. According to the whistleblower, MPOX just isn't contagious enough, and the elites are desperately seeking new ways to infect the global population so they can roll out the next phase of their totalitarian master plan to enslave humanity. I, I never thought I'd find myself in this position, but I can't keep quiet any longer. The weight of what's happening is crushing me, and, and I need to tell someone anyone the truth. For years, I've been part of an organization that operates under the guise of protecting the greater good. We've been told that our work is crucial, that, that the decisions we make, no matter how difficult, are necessary to prevent larger catastrophes. You know, I, I, I believed that once. I really did. But everything changed when I learned about Operation Skypox. I'm not sure how much time you have, so I'll get straight to the point. We are planning to release aerosolized MPOX, which is a highly infectious clade of the virus over densely populated cities by spraying it from the sky as part of existing chemtrails operations. The, the official line from the top is that this is a preventive measure, a way to, to control the population, cull the herd, and avert future disasters. Gates has justified it by saying that resources are running out, that the population is growing too quickly, and, and that the world will be a much worse place in the future if we don't act now. But this isn't about saving lives. It's about control. It's about Bill Gates playing God with people's lives. 
And the worst part, there's a division within the organization. Some of us see this plan for what it is, immoral, unethical, and an unforgivable breach of the trust people place in us as scientists. But there are others who've convinced themselves that Bill knows best, that it's not our place to question his motives. He's like a god to them. That, that's not an exaggeration. They've become so detached from the reality of what we're doing to people that they can't see the horror of it anymore. The Gates Foundation whistleblower revealed the organization is working with globalist institutions, including the United Nations and World Economic Forum, to expedite an mRNA vaccine rollout in the same manner as the COVID pandemic. Except this vaccine will be pumped into the arms of the masses even faster without any testing, and the consequences will be even worse. We've got the details after this important word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is PillsForever.com. If you think Big Pharma have your best interests at heart, think again. Under Biden, the price of medicine in America has skyrocketed, and there are certain medicines Big Pharma don't want you to know about. That's why I've partnered with PillsForever.com. All of their FDA-approved medicines are the cheapest you'll find anywhere. More importantly, you can order medicines that Big Pharma don't want you to have, such as ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, and fenbendazole. Speaking of fenbendazole, not only does it get rid of parasites that live inside your body, there have been studies that show fenbendazole can help with cancer. Listen to this testimony of Joe Tippins, a cancer survivor, thanks to fenbendazole. Two years ago, Joe Tippins says he was told to go home, call hospice, and say his goodbyes. The doctors were unanimous. He was going to die of small cell lung cancer. Once that kind of cancer goes that far afield, the odds of survival are less than 1% and the median life expectancy is three months. Tippin says he got a tip, not from a pharmacist, but a veterinarian. And in his desperation, he turned from people medicine to dog medicine. Specifically, fimbindazole. My insurance company spent $1.2 million on me with traditional means before I switched to a $5 a week medicine that actually saved me. Get 15% off using coupon code People's Voice at the checkout. Please click the link below this video or call 256 664 4170 to take advantage of this fantastic offer. According to the Gates Foundation Insider, the organization is being placed under enormous strain by Gates' increasingly psychopathic methods. It'll take probably about a billion a year for a pandemic task force at the WHO level, which is doing the surveillance and actually doing what I call germ games, where you practice. You say, OK, what if uh, a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports? You know, how would the world respond to that? Uh, you know, that there's NAFTA really caused epidemics and bioterrorism caused epidemics that could even be way worse than what we experience today. Desperate to avoid arrest as prosecutors close in from various angles, Gates is determined to make the next pandemic, the one he warned would get our attention this time, deliver the goods for the global elite. I had a conversation with one of my colleagues, someone I used to respect deeply. He told me that, that sometimes to save the many, a few have to suffer. He said that maybe, maybe this is just one of those hard decisions that we need to trust Bill to make. But how can I trust a man who would willingly sacrifice innocent lives? People with families, children, pets, without their consent. I tried to convince him that there must be another way. You know that we're scientists and it's our responsibility to find solutions that don't involve killing innocent people. But he's scared, scared that if we don't go through with this, the consequences will be even worse. And maybe, maybe he's right about the consequences, but that doesn't justify what we're about to do. I can't live with this on my conscience. The organization will do whatever it takes to silence anyone who opposes them. But, but I can't stay silent any longer. I have to try to stop this, even if it means risking everything. I, I don't know what will happen to me after this, but if you're hearing this, please don't fall for the fear porn. Don't let them treat you like cattle and inject you with their new vaccine for a disease they created. This isn't just about a virus or a vaccine. It's about the soul of our humanity. And right now, it's slipping away. There is just one problem for the elites and their compromised politicians in WF infiltrated governments around the world. We are onto them and we're not going to let them herd us like cattle into the new world order. 
For those who don't think governments would ever conspire against their own people, it's worth brushing up on your history. In 1873, the government killed millions of buffalo to starve the Native Americans so they would submit to the government and become submissive and dependent. Some things don't change. In 2024, the elite are planning to force the submissive and dependent masses into 15-minute cities that will essentially serve as controlled population prisons. German member of European Parliament, Christine Anderson, explains all the gory details. Well, a 15-minute city means basically a neighborhood where you can reach everything you need within a 15-minute footwalk, a doctor, a grocery store, and so forth. However, if you now fancy another store and it does not happen to be in your neighborhood, you won't be going to that store anymore. Total control is what we're talking about. Once they decide you're no longer allowed to leave your 15-minute immediate area, they don't have to fence it in or anything. It will be done via digital ID. With a social credit system, kind of Something maintaining like that. compliance. Yes. And there's pilot projects already going on in Bologna. It's called the Bologna Wallet. And in Vienna, it's called the Vienna Token. It's voluntary for now. And it's only pretty much enticing people to get some ticket for a little less or something like that to go to theater, something like that. But soon there will be a time you don't have a choice anymore. You have to have this digital green certificate, this QR code, whatever. And then they will tell you where you can go, what you can do and what you can and cannot do. The plan to enslave humanity has been in the works for decades. And the elite are rolling out the control apparatus as we speak. Remember when WF9 politicians all over the world were parroting the same line, Build Back Better? Now we know that Build Back Better literally means destroying things first and then rebuilding according to the New World Order plans. It's a very pertinent question to ask how do we build back better? To build back better or whatever. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Remember the, the terrible damage of COVID as we try to build back from this uh, global pandemic. Joe Biden calls it Build Back Better. Build Back Better. Building Back Better. To do things differently. To build back better. We're going to build it back better. And build it back better. It's my plan to build back better. Uh, start taking all the problems that have been created in right. education and mental health and start to, to build back in a positive way. I have launched a booklet called Build Back Better, Britain After Coronavirus. It's about building this country back better. <clears throat> Growing conspiracy following it. It is called The Great Reset. An unprecedented opportunity to rethink and reset the ways in which we live. The great opportunity for reset. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. Build back better. Building back better our economy. Build back better. All elements of the great reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. It's a big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say to really have a great reset. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Conspiracy. These are critical times and here at TPV, we are determined to expose the elites and hold them to account before it's too late. Join us in our mission to wake up the masses by subscribing to the channel on Rumble and joining the People's Voice Locals community to be part of our amazing team. I hope to see you there. Today's video is brought to you by IPV6ers. Are you a content creator who wants to publish information online without Big Brother spying and censoring your every move? IPV6ers is set to revolutionize the way information is disseminated on the internet by eliminating the need for big tech companies to provide unreliable, overpriced services such as self-hosting, email, and data management. IPV6ers enables an easy and accessible way for you to host your own web and email server with direct end-to-end -end connections and enhanced security. This means no snooping from Big Brother and no interference from the technocratic elite. If Hillary Clinton can get away with running her own server, why shouldn't you? Go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 to sign up or click the link below this video to take back control of the internet and win the info wars against the globalists. If you like our content, help support our sponsor IPv6ers and go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 today. Thank you IPv6ers for making this video possible.